man. <laughs> <laughs> Fixing chairs, running Fixing. around. Or no, what? Hey. We are. We're getting there. I'm just triple checking. But I need yeah. to do this because I notice every time I pull it up, I'm looking down at something. Well. So. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we uh, are. I'm going to share it because sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. We love that so much in okay. our heart. And we are. We're live. We're okay. ready. Because ready rock and roll. I am Midge. Hi, friends. And I am Madge. And this is another Midge, Midge and Madge Mingle. Mingle. woo -hoo. Yep, had to bring in the woots. Had to bring them back, bring them back. Mm -hmm. um, we don't know if any, what are you? Nothing. Uh, say it. What? No, I was just going to say, oh, I was going to remind you. Midge got her ear pierced. We've talked about this before. And she came over and she had a cotton ball in her ear to put some medicine on it. And I thought, I better make sure you read to remind her to get that <laughs> cotton ball out. But she did it. I got it. So oh, that's why I kind of, I just took me back for a second. <laughs> well, you looked at me really funny and I was like, what? No, that what? was all. Found in the cave? Nope. I was just okay. I was just looking to make sure there was no cotton balls. All right. Hello, Super. January McCackney. Well, hello, Janny Rue. Pumpkin seed, I need you to call me after the show. Thank you. <laughs> um, so we're kind of running around like chickens with our heads cut off. We are. The next couple of weeks, you guys. Ah! Cray cray. Mm -hmm. We tried so hard to be prepared, but you know, when stuff comes late and unforeseen events happen. Yeah. You roll with it. Right. Right. It kind of feels like 2017 has been a series of unfortunate events. We thought 16 was, I mean. They just rolled on over from 16. It did. I mean. But it's okay. You know It's what? fine. It could be worse. Yep. And we want to wish all of our friends in Texas and Florida and everywhere that this horrible storm system is coming through to, please be safe. Yes. Be safe, you guys. Oh. Okay. We have lots of, we have lots of peoples here. We have Janet is here, Anne is here. You guys, hello, hello. Hey, everybody. Yes. So we just wanted to pop in really quick today and just show you just a quick bit on the Chaka Tour. Yes. Um, you've probably all heard about it, but it's this really fun, it's chalk paste, and this is a, this is a lot of the colors, but not all of them. Right. Um, it's chalk paste and these super great stencils that are made specifically for the chalk that are... They adhere down to whatever your surface is really well, and they're reusable stencils, and you can wipe the paste off if you don't like your design, or if you just want to change it up, or you can seal your design. Yep. So many options. So many options. So many. And you can do it on, well, of course, chalkboards. Right. I think that's where the misconception comes, is because people are like, oh, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a big chalkboard um, border. Correct. So we've done it on a canvas. Mm -hmm. um, Madge is going to do it on some metal. She's done it on, you can do it on an old book. You can pretty much try it out anywhere. Any GC, surface. If mm -hmm. it's going to. I've done it on, I did it in um, my mixed media bottle. I did a bottle. Yes. And it was really cute. So yes, you guys think outside the box when using this product. I should have grabbed that, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't grab it. Okay, we're in a second. I'm not we're, in a, we're sure. in a bit of chaos in yeah. this room, so we're yeah. not there I for think it's behind that little girl over there, but okay. nobody's nap. It's All right. fine. All right, fine. Yes. So um I guess first I can just show you basically like I said, here's a lot of the colors, mm -hmm. but they do have a lot more colors. Correct. And some fun stencils like for Halloween, we've got trick or treat. We've got this one is really Super cute. cute. If you get, um, we love like the wreaths, and they even have, they have bigger they do. also, so you could put something in the center of your wreath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so many fun different alphabets. The alphabets, you guys, are so cute and so fun. And so, what I want here's if just you a are couple coming to the event, you guys. You're gonna Oops. see some really cute. Midge and Madge signage. Yes. With these. So yes. Another that's thing we're going to get done this that week. Is. Yep. <laughs> And this is a great set, you guys. This is probably, like, one of the best sellers, I would say. I, yes, yes, I would agree. And it's this great, it's the number set, but it's also, it's like days until, so you can do countdown calendars, um, first day of, um, last day of, which birthday it is, so many different, and then you can also do, see, I am however many years old, my favorite blank, um, hi, I love to, just so many different options. This is, like... If you only have one stencil, this is the, the go-to. Yes. But this is super fun. Yes. 
And yeah, just so many. And then they Ooh, even have these cute, cute backgrounds that we can't wait to use. Mm -hmm. So these are all the great chalk transfers. And we, oh no, oh. you used the little one. Okay, so Madge used this hello here on this canvas. Mm -hmm. And she is going to do that again for you today. I we am. did the, it's still wet because we just did it. Um, be a pineapple and then it is stand tall, wear a crown and be sweet on the inside. Yes. But as you can see, like we wanted to show you. So Madge, there's, it didn't go through all the way just because we're learning this. Right. So all she has to do is get a wet wipe or a little bit of water on a paper towel and it comes right off. I did this so I could show you. So see, you can see my words are missing right here. I just did a wet paper towel mm -hmm. and wiped them off and then when this is completely dry, I'll just do the word part again. Right. And you guys don't become, don't get frustrated or be upset if it doesn't turn out the first time. That's what I love about this. You're not going to ruin your project. Right. Like Midge said, just get a wet wipe or a wet paper towel and just wipe it right off. Let it dry and try again. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, I, I was really bummed because I was so excited. But down in here, I was like, dang it. But I can just erase from here down and go again. So don't be sad. Don't be sad. Just keep going. It's easy. And they also, they they do sell um, like big ornate chalkboards and things like Beautiful pretty frames, mm -hmm. um, all different sizes. But you can go and get your surface wherever you want because yeah. they all work. Now, some of them need to be waxed. Mm -hmm. It just depends on the coating on your surface before you chalk, you should wax. But not, I mean, a lot of them don't have to be. And like we've been mm -hmm. able to find just cheap, cheap chalkboards, cheap the little metal signs. Like this little metal sign here. Uh-huh little chalkboards and we have some big ones we have what is that sign called that we're going to make that folds out and is it an easel no uh, like an it? easel but it's on both sides I can't think stores put them out front but anyway yes we have a those. big chalkboard sign like that that we're making with mm -hmm. our name on it um you the possibilities are endless and like we said if you make a design that you absolutely love you can just put a sealer a spray sealer yep and it will be on there forever, just like buying a piece of art. But if you don't want to do that, like we said, easy peasy, if you change with the seasons or your mood or whatever, mm -hmm. wipe it down and start again. Start again. I probably would have 77 chalkboards in my house or things like that because I will have a hard time erasing because sometimes they're, well, not sometimes, they're always also cute. How do you mm -hmm. choose and start again? But you guys, these stencils are different than um, the stencil that you're used to. They're kind of like a, a silk screen is yes um, and they're, so they have the adhesive on the back and so you really want to make sure that you're careful when you peel them off or when you take them off of your surface because if you stretch it um, then you're going to have kind of a weird shape so as you take it off you want to just make sure that you are as careful taking it off as you are putting it back on. You can see so it's still sticky this is drying because I just did the pineapple. Um, but like she said, it is sticky on the back, so it, it holds down flat to your surface. And the first time you use your stencils, guys, um, you might want to just like throw it on your pant leg or somewhere just to get a little bit of the sticky, you know, get a little lint on your sticky. Right. Just so that it doesn't adhere so good to your surface that you stretch it. Right. So right. just always make sure that you remove it carefully, but it, it comes right off and lays down flat. Um, Sharon says she likes the pineapple that doesn't have all of the colors. It looks like a vintage sign. So she likes, she likes this one no. here because mine, mine has all the colors. Oh, so she likes the, just the regular green and yellow. Mm -hmm. Super cute. And that's one thing you guys, you can do, oh, it's called a sandwich board. Thank you. I knew it was something. <laughs> Thank you. Sandwich board. <laughs> yes. And you guys, you can make your colors. You can blend your colors. Yeah. You can do yeah. so many different things with the colors. Feel free to play because they do they do blend well. It's mm -hmm. a good consistency. I could show them. Can I do that? Yeah. yeah. Do we have an extra thing or do you need both of those? I mean, all of those. We have an extra. Okay. Yes. I can just show you. This is one that I just used. We've used this one a lot, actually. We have. We have, and I was looking for some popsicle sticks because we had a couple out, but I think we did. We threw them in the drawer. But it's okay. I'll just do this really quick. Okay. I, <laughs> this is our handy dandy homemade tool right here. And you just, I can show you, you, you always want to give them a stir before you use them. Just give them a quick stir. And then I can just show you, see, can you see that? It's like a, I It's don't know. not a paint, you guys. It's not paint. It's not it's paint. It's like a paste. It's, it's a thicker paste. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like a little bit thicker than Elmer's glue. Yeah. 
That that's yes, that is. So but, there. Just like that. And we I'm crushing on it because I not only is it great for people for home decor or you know things like that, but it's really great you can scrapbook with it. You can do mixed media with it. You could make yes. cards with it. And you guys so all of it is just it's the oper I mean the options are endless. Keep talking. I'm going to find your bottle. Okay. I think it's behind that. I think I see it. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to say is I've actually seen where a couple of um, people have taken these transfers and have done them on their walls. Like there's a really cute laundry room one. Um, you can actually do it on your wall and you don't have to put a sealer over top of it because when you're done, guess what you guys, wet paper towel, um, a Lysol wipe, something, baby wipe, something like that, and it wipes right off. So that's always fun too. I will hold it up in one moment. Okay. Oh, she is saying no, the one that says be a pineapple on top. Oh, okay. Because it's like worn out. See, oh, I told you, I thought out. it was cute. Like it's, okay. it's, it's rustic. All right, all right. I, I told gotcha. her it was cute. I'm moving the sign. But look, this is Madge's cute mixed media bottle. And then she just used it across down on the bottom across the bottom the one thing I will state though if you are using it for mixed media you need to make sure that all of your layers are a hundred percent dry and maybe even have maybe um, cured overnight because if you do it when um, gesso or Mod Podge or decoupage or anything like that is still a little bit tacky and wet it does not want to work. it won't be flat it will kind of absorb and mm -hmm. yeah and then you'll be sad so that's just a tip for that um Okay. Oh, Teresa Hare said, um, like maybe a consistency like yogurt. Yes, yeah, stirred yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So do, does anybody have any questions before we show you how we do this fun, fabulous thing? Anyone? Anyone? And we're just going to do a simple one today because we're still at a simple stage. <laughs> yeah. We we're practicing. <laughs> but yes. when we get more difficult, we'll show you. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Okay. So... Let's do, I can just go like this, yes, yep. and like this. So you guys, our hello has been well loved, obviously, because I did it on the canvas. So I have, um, we've used it a few times. I have already put it like on my pant leg or maybe on a pillowcase or a, not necessarily a dish towel, but what are they called? Like red a tea towels towel. or tea towel. Thank mm -hmm. you. So can I have the phone? She does not like to share the phone. She okay. likes to look at it. She likes to be the one to see who's on, what people are saying, even when she's talking. I do. I'm so sorry. It's a, it's a bad, <laughs> bad habit. I'm trying to break the habit. So basically you can see how it peels off. Okay. So it's nice and sticky. And then I'm just going to lay it down here because I'm probably going to end up wiping this off. We just, just wanted you to see. See. And I'm just going to smooth it out. I want to say hi to... Okay. Marie and Sarah and Jewel. Also. Oh, so there you guys have it. Ta-da. Nothing crazy, right? Nothing too crazy. Stuck right down flat. Boom. Yep. Now, do we talk about these? Yeah, the squeegees. Yes. They do have these squeegees, which they do. I, I haven't used a little one yet. I liked the big one. <laughs> My problem isn't, I'm sure that this little thing here is to scoop this stuff out, but I think it's too thick. Mm -hmm. So that's why I use this sometimes to be like a wide swiper mm -hmm. but I still use our homemade tools right. too right. and I like our homemade tools and the reason why I like them and I better have a drink I noticed she was about to choke mm -hmm. that's not good yes I have already been to swig today to get a big app okay no judging Teresa says you're a phone hog I am a phone <laughs> hog I like this spatula because it is a really a pretty good size but when we're talking about our little home remedies here we're using like Hotel a hotel key keys. cut into three pieces. Yeah. Now you and those work great. Drink. So you can do that as well. I'm going to choose to use the bubblegum pink, and I'm going to move. No. Madge picked pink. I know. No. I know. Hold, your, hold the phone. I'm going to move this out of the way just so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. All right. Fine. Am I still in frame? I should still be in frame, yeah? Oh, you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I need to stir this one because you can see, look how thick it is. You can see it's. It's pretty thick because after it sits for a minute, what does paste towel? do? Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. It is always prepared. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna just give this a quick stir. You can hear it. So creamy. Mm-hmm. 
Go ahead. <laughs> we all started. I was just going to say, sometimes if it's a little bit too thick, you can add a little squirt of um, water. water from a spray bottle. Just yeah. a quick little, little. We're not saying pour a cup of water in there. Right. Okay. And because this is a little bit bigger stencil, I am actually going to use this one. This okay. little guy right here. That's the skinny squeegee from Chocotour. And I'm just going to take a little bit. And it does not take that much, you guys. Mm -mm. It spreads really thinly. And then you can just scrape your excess right back into your tub and use it again. Right. So I probably got a little much on here. But because I'm only using one color. That's okay. That's okay. If I'm using multiple colors, I learned this the hard way. Less is better. Less is more. So, and then what ended up happening, Midge, I ended up making my own color, didn't I? Yes, she did. We even saved it. It's over there. It's more, it's the lime green, but more limey now. Yep. Because I, I just put a little too much on there. Yes, Teresa, these are dirty Diet Cokes. <laughs> How did you guess? And Janine, what's on the bottle? This is the mixed media bottle that Madge did, and it has old book pages and paper towels mm -hmm. And um, what's it called? Tissue, the tissue art paper. Yeah. So the little, the girl is. The girl. So mm -hmm. the girl is cut out of a piece of, it's almost like a thin napkin, but it's art paper. And Correct. she's cut right out of there. And then some paint and then flowers and her chalkboards. Yep. Yep. Okay. So now what I'm doing, you guys, is I'm just, I'm just getting the excess off of my stencil. I mean, yeah, off of my stencil so I can scrape it back into, into the little bottle there. And that is one nice thing too. It does, no matter really what, as long as you're using a flat tool, it scrapes right up. It you does. slide it all the excess, you pick up your tool, and it just, the chalk just comes with your tool for you to scrape in there. Okay. And That's now I'm going to help hold down the surface just yes. so it, it doesn't pull as much. You can do it just by yourself, but it always does help if you have a friend to help, or you have two hands, especially when you're using the metal because... It likes to it stick likes really to stick well really to the metal. Well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and fingernails. Fingernails. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Sorry, I'm just pulling. And like I said, I don't want to. I need to be careful with it because I don't want to stretch it. Sorry, is my hand right in your way? No, you're good. I'm just trying. I just don't want to stretch it. So I can slide it towards you more if you'd like. Here we go. Here we go. Keep going. Sorry, guys. Just going carefully because we don't want to we don't want to stretch our lovely transfer. Okay. Okay. And look. Perfect. I'm gonna go and I'll move this out of your way. Mm hmm Look how cute. And she could do, I mean, you could even do it in a bunch of different colors and have this be yep. a welcome sign at your front door. You could do so many different things. You could add flowers on here if you want to keep it forever. But we just wanted to show you how quick and easy and fun these can be and there are so many different uses for them and so don't many. hear chalk paste and think you can only do it on a chalkboard because just right here we do have the chalkboard but we have metal we have mixed media and glass we have a canvas just and she didn't do anything with to the canvas no i mean it came it, the it canvas came. came with a newspaper print on it like that and the chalk went right down. Right down. Just as easy as so, you saw it go on the middle. Yeah. And I will say, you guys, like Mitch said, you can add. That's one thing that I really, really love about it. You can cut these transfers. So if you want to cut your words, you know, maybe buy one that says, like, our autumn one or even this one. Oh, yeah. So you this can, is really three transfers here. Right. You can cut, you can cut them me, or you can leave them. Let or, me find it. I'm trying to find it for you. I've got my favorite it's all on good. the top. So. It's all good. Mm. Well, but you can cut it and use it as two separate pieces if you need. Can I sit up here? Yeah, probably will. Sorry, I, I am a little bit She's, more prepared because I'm just getting some. Yeah, she wants to wipe everything down really quick before it dries. And yes, care, the aftercare of these stencils is very important. They do wash clean, but again, don't stretch them and tug on them while you're washing them. Right. Just rinsing in water will usually work and rubbing it with your fingers. Yep. And then also you can use like baby wipes or a Lysol wipe. Yes. You just want to make sure that you clean out those holes really, really good. Oh, right here. Okay. Here okay. we go. So like this, you could separate whatever you wanted to. You could leave it one piece or you could separate it into all different transfers if you wanted to. And this, like we said, would be really cute. And like on these, I've seen the little, I, I, they're not really berries, but the little ends of these, some of them look like berries. 
So people have done like a white wreath with a colored berry mm -hmm. or some of the fun stuff that's coming up for Christmas, like you the evergreen. Talking. I'm going to green wash this real quick. Okay, okay, fine. So you guys can see. I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick out some of these. This is, you guys. When you see me come back, it's going to be nice and clean. Okay? Okay. Fabulous. <laughs> Keep talking. Keep I might talking. not be able to get to evergreen, but I'll use moss for right now. So moss, you could do the fun wreath in the moss and then get like the brick. Is this brick? Yep, the brick and do brick berries. And that would be really fun and festive for the holiday. Or you could even do it brown with some orange and brick for fall. But there are so many different possibilities that we had to have all of them. So we're gonna play around a lot. And like she said, we do have, thank you, whoever has told us it was a sandwich board. We have a sandwich board that we're doing for the retreat that will say like what class we're in and our name so that, you know, just defines a little bit where where we are at the retreat and um, if does anybody else have any questions because we would love to answer them and like we said we have just really started to play with this stuff but we love it and we're going to be doing more and more of it um, let's see if anybody we miss you too Teresa Yes, saying and logo and initials. And we do sell this stuff. It's Midge and Madge Mingle, uh, chocotour.com, I believe. But Madge is going to be the one to tell you that for sure when she gets back. And let, I wanted to show you, this was the other one she, we should have mentioned about cutting. This one has a bunch of different backgrounds in here. And it's just, it would be so cute. You could even cover like a chalkboard in one of the backgrounds. You could do the whole pattern on the chalkboard and then go back with another color and do a word over it. Um, you could do it on a wall. That would be cute, just a little section on a wall. Um, yeah, I don't, we just loved it. So we just bought, 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 and can't wait to play with it. And Madge, yes. you must remind me, yes. our site is Midge and Madge Mingle dot 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 com correct and I if we want to post it in the comments I can post it in the comments for you real quick I just Here. wanted to show you this we're oh. kind of dripping a little bit but you guys you can see that it's clean right you can see that it's clean and but you guys one top tip on this do not let where your transfer is sticky to like bunch up oh yeah and try to get it back you kind of like when you take um a fruit by the foot or a fruit roll up off and it sticks and then you can't flatten it back out kind of like that make sure you keep the sticky off the sticky off correct. if that if that makes the sense sticky off the sticky keep the sticky off the sticky yes do not let them touch yes but and you so. can fix it but it's hard and it stretches so oh. that is a top tip sorry i did that that's okay I can wrap it off. Nobody's even sad about just it. Just on the plastic. Good thing it wipes right off. Good thing. There we go. But yeah, so I just showed a couple different ideas that you could do with this stuff. And we have, like we said, a lot of the colors here, but there are still more colors than this. You know us. Once we get one thing, we, we have to get all of the colors. Yes. And all of the Yes, we have another, things. another order coming very soon. <laughs> I'm trying to scoot forward, and this is not a very good look. <laughs> but I just, my chair, when you don't have two good legs to... Scoot she in. Okay. There we go. She's we ready. Go. She's ready okay. now. Yes. And um, if you put, just hit in comment, if you double click like you're going to paste something. And let's see. And then hold on comment. And then let go. And then hit paste. Perfect. And then hit post. Ta-da. Love that. There is our website. Just okay. in case you guys. All right. Midgetmagmingle.chocotour.com. Dot com, Correct. And she put it in there for you. I did. I she was, was prepared. all prepared. She had already copied it for I us. Have. Yes. <laughs> yes. So this is super fun. This is something that I want to chalk all the things. How long does it take to dry? It actually dries very quickly. And that's one thing that is awesome, but sometimes it can be a little bit of a hassle. So you want to make sure that you're, you're prepared on what you want to do. Yes. You want to work quickly. But it does dry very fast so when you're doing your layering you know it it it's great because you can let it dry and then it can take just a couple minutes like and I did this back. one a half an hour ago mm -hmm. and you could I could lay my stencil now and do my words up on the top if right. I want to yep it, it does and it I could have dry. a few minutes ago mm -hmm. yes and that's you guys that was why I had to get up and I had to go clean this because 
once it's there and it's dry, especially on the stencil, it's harder to wipe off of the stencil and the holes because it without is like a pulling print. it, yes. you want to keep let it keep its shape. Yes. Um, also, maybe another tip along the lines of the drying: if you are using multiple colors, mm -hmm. Madge has came up with this one this morning. Have them all ready, like lids open, whatever you're going to use. If it's a dipper, or a scraper, or a popsicle stick, have them. Right. all stirred and all ready to go so that you're not doing one color and then closing it and going and opening another color and mm -hmm. stirring. Have them all ready because that helps a lot. It does. It actually made it so much easier and I don't know why I didn't do that before. Because the first time we tried to, we tried this, we, it was our first time doing right. multiple colors right. and we, we didn't have them all ready and the first color would be dry before we got the next color open and stirred and the first one closed. Correct. So. Yes. Top tip. Yes. <laughs> Do we have any questions? Um, that was the last question. I think. How long does it take to dry? But yes, it's also it is forgiving too. Mm -hmm. You can work with it. Like it's not like completely dry. It just no. starts to dry. Right. And and I've seen where you guys they do like the ombre colors, like in the hello. You know, you put some pink down and you swipe across the top, and then you could do like the yellow and swipe next, and then um, basically what you do to merge the colors together so you don't have to create your own bottles. If you take your finger and you kind of do like in the swirly motion and swipe and do the swirly motion, it'll blend those colors together. Um, and then you don't have to ruin, you know, or make lots of different colors of paste by doing that. Does that make sense? Yes. So you can blend them So that you way. can scrape it down and get your excess off and cleanly put that back in the tub without mixing the two colors. Correct. Yes. yes. And then they said, um, on metal or outdoor, do you have to seal it? Ye mm -hmm. Well, that all depends. If it it's going to be in the weather, absolutely. Right. It, it yes. has got to be sealed. Yes. And metal, just because it's metal doesn't mean it needs to be sealed. It's just like anything. If you want to keep this design forever, yes. seal it. Correct. But if you want to be able to reuse your surface and change up your design, you don't need to seal it. Right. You, right. of course, don't want fingers on it all the time or right. scratches, mm -hmm. but you don't have to seal it unless you want to keep it forever or it's going to be outside in the weather. Correct. Yes. All the rest to that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, this, oh, Yvonne says, what are we doing today? She missed the beginning. Today we were just talking about chalk couture mm -hmm. and it's all these fun, this is a chalk paste. Correct. It's thicker than paint. It's not paint. Nope. And it is reusable. You can either seal your designs or you can wipe them down with just like a wet paper towel or a Lysol wipe and change your design as often as you want. Mm -hmm. And you do not have to only use it on chalkboards, which is just kind of what we were briefly hitting on today. Yes. You can use it on chalkboards, but we've used it on metal and glass and mixed media projects and a canvas. So mm -hmm. really you, you can, can use, use it on it, paper. Yeah, on paper in your scrapbooking you can mm -hmm. use it mm -hmm. and then just give it a quick mod podge or clear coat of something over top um but not too you don't want it to be really wet yeah, you, you just want to do a be, quick swipe yeah. or you can yeah. spray seal um usually spray sealing for the big designs or home decor pieces are the best um mm -hmm. yeah that's that was kind of what what we were doing today and we loved it so much that we just we got all we could get and we just started playing with it and we decided that we wanted to sell it too. Yep. So. And we're loving it. It's super fun, super easy. I mean, if you're a crafter, this is definitely something that you need to try because yes. you can use it for so many different things. So many different things. A lot of people are have asked before, and I know I mentioned this briefly, but just, you know, oh, it's only for the DIYer that likes to do furniture or, you know, the big home decor pieces. It mm -hmm. isn't. If you're a crafter, this actually will work in any anything that you want mm -hmm. so. yes which we tried to kind of show mm -hmm. a little bit today correct yes but yes and we we posted our link in the fight in the comments in the if comments. anybody wants it midge and mingle dot com yes um and if you have any questions or things you'd like to see us try we we're always open to that mm -hmm. new ideas yep and new ideas new fun anything else that you would like mm. to say we something handy too if you do buy this and you end up liking it or you accidentally mix colors like Matt showed you you can get little tiny containers yes to put your excess in and then save it if you want to yep. <laughs> just make sure it has a good lid and it seals tight, tight. and your gear good as golden yep. right there so 
And you yeah. can, the colors are blendable if you want to. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah. there. <laughs> We're loving it. We loving are. It. So. And now next week, do we have something? We have something specific next week, don't we? We okay. do. I believe, I believe it's Zyron. We have Zyron coming up. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's right. what it is. Got to look at my calendar. You know, everything's kind of a blur. I mean. It is because we, because <laughs> we're getting ready. And if you didn't see, um, catch last week when we did our full day of clear snap, <coughs> color box, all those projects, we did smooch ink, um, dye ink, pigment ink, chalk ink. And I'm color forgetting IQ. something. Color IQ. Yes. We did a full day of crafting. So if you would like to catch any of that, just scroll down. It's on our Facebook page. We yep. did them all live. It was all day. It was Check out some fun. of those projects. Yeah. And yes, so we will be back again on Monday. Mm -hmm. And then next week also we'll have a lot of surprise pop-in videos of, yes, because we, we will. will be at the retreat. Yes. And we're super, super stoked for that. So if you're coming to the event... Be sure to come say hi, even if you're not, well, you're going to be taking one of our classes, but yes. even if you're not taking some of our a la carte classes on Thursday, still come and say hey. Come say hey. Yep. We love that. And we'll see everyone there on Saturday. Yes. Yes, everyone. I, I ought to get some more Diet Coke for that. I've got to build yes. my, maybe some Red Bull. <laughs> Too bad Red Bull and Diet Coke doesn't go together, because uh, I could do a nice big mix in with that. But That doesn't sound good. We're just going to have to alternate. Yes. Double this for Yes. <laughs> yes, we sure are. So, oh, and you guys, I have to say this. It is my sweet daughter's 16th birthday today. Sweet 16, Tom Tom. Yes. Yep. My sweet little Otto. Okay. Her name's Autumn. She hates it when I call her Otto, but sometimes I do. She's 16 today. And, you know, I always have to say it was a really, really, really crazy day, 9-11 of a one and it was really heart wrenching for a lot of people. But my sweet little, my sweet little Autumn came into this world that day, and there was not anything scarier than me having her watching the towers fall. That was really scary for me. But something good happened on that day, and that was my sweet little girl. So happy birthday, pumpkin seed. Happy birthday, Tom Tom. Yep. Okay, um, yes, you can buy it from us. Yes, they can buy it from us. Yes. We, you can, buy it you can get everything plus, I mean, everything is on our site at midgeandmadgemingle.chocotour.com because mm -hmm. we haven't been able to get everything yet. Right. But you can get everything on the site. Yep. So hop over there. We would love it. Mm -hmm. And Teresa said, what event? Oh, yay, we are birthday twins. Katie <gasps> Skoog. Yay, happy birthday. Yay. Um, what event? Teresa, we are teaching at the Teresa Collins event in Vegas next week. Next week. We leave a week from Wednesday. So we're excited, but a little cray cray. So many yeses <laughs> to that. So many yeses to that. If Mitch had it her way, we would have been box packed and ready to go three weeks ago. But we couldn't because we didn't have the stuff. We didn't have all the stuff. So unfortunately, the series unfortunate events. We're down to the wire. We are. But okay. we can do it, friends. We can do it. We can. We're still going to figure out if we have to rent a U-Haul. So there's that. We need to get packed so we know if we have to rent a U-Haul. I mean, that's an adventure in <laughs> itself if Midge and I are driving a U-Haul. I mean, right. So right. stay tuned because that could be a mingle. We're not 100% sure on that, but yep. Most likely. <laughs> Most likely. Beep, beep. Here we are. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to step out. Oh, but do we need to take we a little picture? We need to. Yeah, we better. Um, we better. I'm just gonna put this back here. Let's go like this. Like this. And are we close? Hey. Yep, and smile. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I love our glamour <laughs> shots each week. I just, I love them so much. Lately, they have not been too glamorous on no, my end. Not on my end Ooh. either. Yep. Okay, so I will see you all on Monday. Yes. Thanks for joining us, friends. Be sure to follow us on Instagram if you're not there. And. Sharing is caring. If you like this video, share it. Okay. Hugs, friends. Bye.